This is Tim Willis with a face made for radio and a voice made for new print and this is Click on Click Designs and today we're going to be taking a look at a couple of Adobe products. As most of you know I'm basically a Click Designs guy. Definitely not a Canva guy. You know that too. Even though Canva can be used for certain things. There's a little gap there because no pro program is perfect and every program has its thing it does, does really well. And so there's a little gap there that we can fill in with some free Adobe products that does not require us to spend the next five years of our life learning Adobe Photoshop, Adobe Illustrator, those kind of things. And so we can make use of those tools to fill in some of the gaps that might not be covered by Click Designs or another program. Now I understand that some of this might be replicated in Canva, but it's well known my problems with Canva. And that comes down to the ability to do mockups and with templates and which is severely lacking in Canva. We're going to take a look at a few of these products in the next couple of videos. We're going to start with some basic things on this one. We're going to be looking at Adobe ID, what it is, and we're going to look at Adobe Creative Cloud and what it is. That's going to be the video for today. Uh, full disclosure on that too, I do have an older version of Adobe Photoshop and some other Adobe tools on something called CS4, which is a much older version, probably made about 2008, 2009, something like that. So it's not that I'm not unfamiliar with Photoshop, it's just that it's just really too much for me for the most part. And to learn to use it fully would take a great commitment of time and effort. For the same reason, my videos are very basic because my videos are made to demonstrate things, not to become a great video maker. So anyway, that is what's going on today. So I'm going to go ahead and move over to window capture and then we'll take a look at these few Adobe products we can use. Computer, I've logged out of anything with Adobe, so I have to log back in. Let's go ahead and go to adobe.com. And we'll come to www.adobe.com. Then it gives us various things we can look here. The first thing we want to look at, and I don't want to sign in quite yet. Go to free trial here. Okay, it has some things we can do with free trial. Um, don't really want to do that. Let's go and instead to Adobe. ID first. Okay, so we want to first go to www.adobe account. If you're not, if you don't already have an Adobe ID, this is where you can get one for free, and you will need that to sign in any free or paid Adobe product. And so it's asking for a new user. We'd give them an email address. And let me just go ahead and do this. So we need to sign up for a new account. And so it's going to ask us for an email. We're going to click continue. We're going to put in our name. on our age I don't know why I need that all right we click and it's going to create our account it's going to make a solve a puzzle stupid but okay you proved you're not a bot Okay, and so now it's given us our Adobe ID and we'll now be able to sign in with our name and password to any Adobe product that we're signed up for. Now, most of these are going to be paid ones, but they're also going to be free ones, or ones that have a free aspect. So, we look down here, 
and we see the Adobe Free Membership. And so we have things like the Adobe Express Free, Adobe Acrobat Reader, which most of you probably already have in your computer anyway, Light Shop, Photoshop Express for both desktop and mobile, but Lightroom for only for mobile devices. And a couple of other things. There's 19 in all. The one we want to go ahead and do is Creative Cloud. Most of what Adobe Creative Cloud is, you're going to not be able to access except as a paid member, but it does give us a avenue to also the free app. It will come up here. This is the Adobe Creative Cloud. So this is actually adobecom.home. Here you see it's got free apps we can use. Adobe Express, which some of you probably seen in the past in some of my videos. Adobe Acrobat for the web. Adobe Firefly, which is their new one for the inter web that will make um, AI images. And let's view what else we have here. And you see we have different things and we have different you can tell when you look here is anything that you're going to have to pay a subscription for will say buy anything you can just open and sign into free will say open so adobe express is open adobe firefly is open and we'll get more into some of the restrictions on adobe firefly later on when we get to that what else do we have we have frame io whatever that is and a few other things now most of this is going to be things you have to pay for we do have a few things we use now, the one thing I'll give a note on, this is Adobe Stock. It's sort of like the Adobe version of Evato Elements. It's a bunch of picture stocks. But right now, it's only going to allow you uh, in the free level to get 10 stock images. And you can click on that. I've never actually used this section. But yeah, it will get, allow you to get 10. But after that, you're going to have to pay a monthly fee to use this. So... That's kind of what we're looking at for a starting point. We want to look at getting signed in with Adobe ID, and then we want to go ahead and look at the Creative Cloud, see what it is. Now you see here we got a toolbar on the right, got Home, Apps, Files, which we should have no files right now. Which we don't. And then we have, we can organize any files we have in there, I suppose. We've got Learn. Let's see what the College of Adobe has. And so we've got some things in here. A lot of these are going to be for things like Photoshop or Adobe Illustrator. You know, you could probably learn something from them, but you're not going to be able to replicate any exercises because you don't have those programs. But yeah, there's some things here. So here's one. Adobe Firefly, how to replace an image background in Adobe Firefly. Well, we do have partial access to Adobe Firefly, although it's limited to a certain number of images a month. So that could be useful. Here's another one. This is for Adobe Express, how to move background. I've shown how to do that for. So you know, we could, there's some tutorial there that we could use. And then we have a Discover section. Which is going to be following just current trends and trying to give us inspiration for things, showing us things we do. But that's it for this video, really. I just wanted to take a look at getting started with some of these Adobe tools that we can make use of. And before we do that, we're going to have to go ahead and get an Adobe ID. And we need to take at least a look at Creative Cloud like we did. Because some of these things are going to be accessed or through Creative Cloud or interface with Creative Cloud. So that's it for right now. My name is Tim Willis. I'm a certified ClickFunnels funnel builder, and I make tutorial and demonstration videos on ClickFunnels, Click Designs, and other useful tools for funnel hackers and funnel hacking. That's the video for today, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.